In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to make the power-up mystery boxes from Mario Kart in Unreal Engine. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be creating. The graphics right now are just placeholders, so you can make the boxes and stuff look like whatever you want. I'm just going to be going over the functionality. So whenever I walk through a box, it's going to give me the power-up. I'm going to press my power-up button. It's going to use the power-up which right now I just have as a print string, and then reset it back. I'm going to keep this tutorial speedy so you guys can get back to developing. If at any point I'm going too fast, you guys can just pause it or rewind. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a actor. This will be our mystery box. Mystery box. And let's click on that real quick. First off, I'm going to add a static mesh. And then for the mesh, I'm going to give it a cube. So it actually looks like a mystery box. Um, we'll compile and save that and I'll put it into my world okay once we have the box now we want to go back to the blueprint and we're gonna give this a collision a box collision and then we're gonna go to the viewport click on this box and we're gonna scale it so it's the same size as the mesh we made okay that looks about perfect and now another thing we're going to do is click on the static mesh and we're going to go to its collision properties. For the collision of the static mesh, we're going to go to custom and we're just going to make sure it ignores everything. This will make it so we can actually walk through the box. Compile and save that. Scroll all the way down here and click on on component begin overlap. And now we're actually going to minimize this for now and we're going to go to our character blueprint and go to the event graph and here we're going to make a new variable so come over here let's create a new variable we're going to call this slot item and we're going to change it to a integer so this slot item is going to be the power up that we get from the mystery box okay so we're going to compile and save and now that we have the slot item we can come back to this mystery box um, blueprint and we're going to come over here whenever we overlap the mystery box we're going to cast to our character which for me is third person character so the object for this is the other actor the first thing we need to check is if we have a power up or not already and so we're going to come out of here and do a branch and then we're going to come out of here and get our slot item that we just made so get our slot item and then off the slot item, we're going to do equal. And so if our slot item is equal to zero, zero is going to mean that we don't have a power up. So if our slot item is equal to zero, we're going to drag out of our character and do set slot item connected to the true. And from here, we're going to do um, random integer in range. And so this is going to be dependent on how many power-ups you have. And so for right now, we only have one power-up. So I'm just going to do one, one. So I don't really need the range right now, but I'm doing it because you're going to need it. So if you have five power-ups, you do one through five. So at the end, we're going to destroy actor. So the box goes away once we run over it. So now if we look at this code, when our character runs over the box, it's going to check and see if we have a power-up or not. And if we don't have a power up, it's going to give us a power up and then destroy the box. So let's compile and save that. And then we're going to click play. And I'm going to run over here to the box. And so whenever I run over this, the box should disappear, which it does. And now we have a power up. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to actually have the game show us what power up we got. So we're going to right click down here, uh, go to user interface, and we're going to create a new widget blueprint. And we'll name this power up HUD. Okay, so in our HUD, we're going to get a image and drag that onto here. Then we're going to go to our graph and we're going to delete these except for event tick. Okay, from event tick, we're going to drag out here and we're going to cast to our character, cast to third person character and from object we're just gonna say get player character okay and now we're gonna come here and we're gonna get our slot item again slot item 
and then from here we're going to get a switch on it okay so let me explain this real quick so let me add a couple pins here so when back on the mystery box it's going to give us a random number here and that's gonna be our power up and back here whatever number it picks that number is going to display whichever we drag out here so we're gonna get this image box we made get that run out of here we're gonna say set brush from texture and we're gonna plug that into the one and then so here we decided what texture we want it to show us whenever we get this power up and so you'll probably make your own um, texture here but I'm going to do this one for now Let's compile and save that and then come back to a third person character and then on event begin play we're just going to have it create the HUD so we're gonna say create widget I'm gonna pick the one we just made which is our power-up HUD and then we're going to add to player screen so now at the start of the game it's just gonna give us this HUD so let's compile and save all these oh yeah you gotta plug on um, the target into here so let's compile and save all these now I'm gonna click play and see now we have our HUD at the top left so whenever I run over this box it's gonna put that texture that we picked into that box slot boom so now we have that power up okay so for the final step we're gonna actually give ourselves a power up so first things first we're gonna come up here to edit and we're gonna go to project settings and then here we're gonna scroll down until we see input and we're gonna click um, this drop down of action mappings and we're gonna click and add a new one so this is gonna be our power up button so we'll call it power up now we pick what key we want to press to use the power up so we'll click on this till it's yellow I'm gonna press Q so whenever I press Q it'll use the power up let's exit out of that and come back to our third person character so now we need the event of the action mapping we just created so I called mine power up so now anytime I press the power up button this will happen first thing we need to do is check which power up we have so we're gonna come out of here with a branch and we're going to get our slot item and say if our slot item is equal to one and if it's true we do whatever this power up is so for now I'm gonna say print string and this where this print string is is where you'll have the code to do whatever power up you want to do so if like you want to shoot a fireball you'd like put that code here or if you want to like do like a super jump you'd put that here so I'm gonna say shoot fireball okay so now anytime I press Q if my slot item is equal to one then it'll do whatever this code is that's true so let's compile save let's test that out so I'm gonna click play I'm gonna come back over here to my box so when I run over this it's gonna give me that power up and whenever I press Q at the top left you're gonna see it says shoot fireball see shoot fireball and as you can see there's one other thing we have to do we still have that power up as you can see at the top left so we have to tell the game to reset our power up back to nothing so we're going to come back here to our third person character blueprint so after this happens we're going to take our slot item and we're going to set it to zero which will allow us to get a new power up so I'm going to pile and save that and I'm going to come to mystery box actually I'm just going to put a material on my mystery box to make it look more cool and I'll save that okay now the final step we're going to come back to our power up HUD and we need to make it so when it resets it'll reset the picture at the top left too so um, let's get another image and then we're going to set brush again set brush from texture same thing down here and then we're just gonna plug that into zero and we're gonna leave this texture thing empty so the texture is reset okay now I'm actually gonna drag some more mystery boxes onto my scene so we can test it out all right so click play come over here to our mystery boxes I'm gonna run through this mystery box it's gonna give me my fireball power up I'm gonna shoot a fireball and it's gonna reset then I'm gonna come here I'm gonna get another fireball shoot it come here get another fireball shoot it and now you have Mario Kart mystery boxes 
And so when we have more power ups, we're actually going to just copy this code. And I'll paste it again. So instead of one here, we're going to do two. And so if the mystery box gave us a two, whenever we click the power button, now if we have the two power button, it'll do this. So instead of fireball, we can do something like green shell. So if it gives us the two, we'll have a green shell. And we'll press it, it'll use the green shell, and then it'll reset our power up. All right, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys want to see more cool tutorials like this, then hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why all these purple blobs are bouncing around, uh, watch my last video.